Anyways, let's continue with the next exercise. I will give you time to read it. I recommend you to read it before I read it. So give me, I'll give you some seconds. So now, let's continue with our aqueous solution of sodium hydroxide, which is sodium and hydroxide here, which contains 20% by mass. So that's kind of strong, that's probably super alkali or basic. And because of that, we want to produce a 8%, only 8% solution by diluting with another stream of 20% solution of pure water. Uh, what else? Even of the 20% solution with uh, okay, yeah. No, actually, we have not, it's only water, pure water. Sorry, guys. Now, they asked me to calculate the ratio in liters per kilogram feet and the kilograms of solution per kilogram of solution in the feet. So, let me show you the diagram so we get this problem straight. We have a feet, yes, but we don't know how much. We have a feed of water, we don't know how much we need to mix, but we do know it's pure and we know both compositions, that's good. And at the ending, you know you want this product, but you don't know how much. So, we have to solve for this. What I recommend is first do a basis of calculus, which is simply this one here. This is convenient because in letter C, you will see that they ask you what will be the Q for P, if P val value is this one. So let's do it for this. I just write down here, and let's go for A, B, and C. So let's do mass balances a lot. Global is inlet minus outlet plus production minus consumption equals A. I told you no production, no consumption, no accumulation. Then we have inlet equals outlets. In the first one it's F plus water. The feed plus the water will give me the new product. That's good. Now, I have this other equation, which will be the mass balance for water. Look how I have always XWF. Let me read it for you. Is X means mass composition. W means mass composition of water and F means mass composition of water in the feed. So you can only multiply by F because this here and this here and this here they are not the same. You cannot say yeah, it's oh, all one, one, one or add them, blah, blah, blah. Whatever you want to do, you cannot do it. This one is different from this one and this is different from this one. I use X only to denote composition. I use the letter W to denote water and the third subscript which is F is to show the flow which here is flow in the feed, flow in the water and the flow in the product so please make sure guys to understand this because this is very very important you will not understand what I am doing with the bios now I know I told you that if you have n substances, which is 2, you can only write 2 equations. But just for sake, we're going to write it just to be sure. Yeah, you can do it, because if not, there's no problem. But if you do it, you will always prove yourself that you're right. Because if you get to the conclusion that 2 equals 1, you're wrong. So something is wrong. So the same. X, uh, composite, molar comp uh, most mass composition of sodium hydroxide in F times F, and we continue the same with water, which this probably is zero, this will go out, but okay, let's continue it, and you will have the ending. So from this system, equation 1, 2, and 3, count all variables, is F, W, P, which is here, we have three flows, X, W, F, X, W, double, X, W, P, we have three, X, W, and we have X, sodium hydroxide F, sodium hydroxide W, sodium hydroxide P. So if we add all, like, total variables in this system will be 9. We know some, we don't know another one, so don't worry. We will see that later.
Now, let's account for every equation we know. We know the value of xwf, we know the value of xyrp, and we know the value of xw, this should be y. So don't get confused. We have this value, this value, and this value. Common sense because zero, come on guys, I told you. Like there's no, no sodium hydroxide in the water. So you know this, you know it's zero. So from here you have six knowns. Good. P we established the basis, so it's okay. So we only need to look for F and water. Nice. Mm, we have a total of nine and therefore we can say we have nine unknown for nine equations, which we can actually solve. So that's good. Now to finalize or to give this to an ending, we substitute the equations in the mass balance, equation one and two, we have this, okay, we just add the data, we have this number, we have this number, and we have these both numbers. Two equations, two unknowns. Please, like two equations because it's three and four equations. This one and this one, and two nouns because we only have F and W as unknown. Now, these guys is the only mass balance you need to do. Actually, all the next is only math. Any guy that knows how to do some algebraics can answer this. Give this to any engineer, they will solve it so easily. Give them the whole problem, they will not solve it that easy. So, continue. You you get this equation, then you just do this equation in number four. You get an equation with only one, let's say, one variable. Nice. Now it's time to get back. In past equation, we have two variables. We substitute one variable. We get one equation with one variable, and you get both that. Now, it doesn't mean that we're done. It means that we have all the mass balance or all the information needed but we are asked to do kind of stuff because if you read A let me go back they ask you the grams of water per grams of solution if it so it's only F divided by W you got F yes I got it you got W yes you got it so nice we have did that now get back sorry they ask you kilograms of solution, which is P, of kilograms of feed. So the produced divided by the feed. We have P, yes, we actually give the number. And we have the F, which we calculated last. We got this. Good. And finally, well, actually, we have no here, but they ask you how much water do we need. This is the water flow. It's a direct answer. So that, guys, was one example of one mass balance in a non-reactive system. So hopefully you understood. If you have any doubts, you can uh, send me mails or whatever. Please read the problem again, understand the problem, draw the, the problem with all variables and stuff, and then, more importantly, do the mass balances here. This, I think, is the most important part. Not this, this is just mathematics. You could actually upload this to a problem and if you know all the equations, you will solve it. As I told you before, it's only math. So, thank you guys, keep watching, keep going good. You can go to the next video. See you there.